Oh, hello guys and welcome to this channel where we bring you a math problem every week. So out here in the Netherlands, it's sale time. I was passing by the shops and there were sale signs all around. It was good to see the sale signs, but it was also interesting to see the sale numbers. 50%, 25%, 40%, simple whole numbers. So looking at 50%, you can easily calculate how much, for example, this item will cost you after sale, right? Now what if you saw a sale sign saying 63 3x7%? Now, I'll never see such a sign, you say. But if you did, would you still be interested in buying the item? Numbers such as these are called mixed numbers, and in this video, I will show you how to do simple arithmetic using such numbers. But why are mixed numbers important? Mixed numbers bring in accuracy, and in many cases, accuracy could be a question of life or death. For example, doctors use mixed numbers to find the right dose for a patient. And this is important, right? There are many, many other examples. So guys, let's jump right in and see how we can do mixed number arithmetic. Here is our problem. So let's address the first question. What are mixed numbers? A mixed number consists of a whole number and a fraction. So 3 is a whole number and 3 by 4 is a fraction. So the first thing we need to do is convert the mixed number into a fraction. And the way we do so is as follows. Let's start with this number here. The fraction has a denominator 4. So let's write that down. Now we need to find the numerator of our fraction. The way we get it is as follows. We start at the denominator and move upwards. One way to remember this is to think of a clock. The clock moves in this direction, right? Now we do two operations. We multiply the denominator and the whole number. And then we add the result and the numerator. The key is to add the result. Please note this. So the first operation gives us 12. And now that we have 12, we add 3, and that gives us 15. So our fraction is 15 by 4. And since the numerator is larger than the denominator, we can be more specific and say it is an improper fraction. Now let's do the same thing here with this mixed number. First, we write down the denominator, 8. Then moving clockwise to the left, we multiply 8 with 1, and that gives us 8. And moving up, we add the 7, which gives us 15. And our improper fraction is 15 by 8. Now when adding or subtracting fractions, we need to have a common denominator. So what do we do with this 4 here? Well, we convert it to an 8. But if we just multiply the denominator by 4, that will change the fraction. We do not want that. But if we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2, the fraction remains the same. So we get 15 into 2 divided by 4 into 2, and that is 30 by 8. Now since the denominators are the same, things become easy and we can just subtract the numerators. So 30 minus 15 gives us 15. And don't forget the denominator, 8. So we have our answer, and it is an improper fraction. But since we are subtracting mixed numbers, it will be good to get our answer as a mixed number too. So how do we do that? We can use long division. So we have 15 divided by 8. 8 goes into 15 1 times. 1 times 8 is 8. And if we subtract 8 from 15, we get 7. Now 8 goes into 15 1 times, so the whole number in our answer is 1. The remainder will go into the numerator like so, and finally the 8 will go in the denominator of our mixed number. So 15 over 8 is exactly the same as 1, 7 over 8, and this is our final answer. So guys, I hope you enjoyed solving mixed numbers. In math, the best way to learn is to practice. 
So pick up improper fractions and convert them to mixed numbers and then pick up mixed numbers and try converting them to fractions. All the best.